What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another episode of my Madden 15 Ultimate Team Budget Series episode. And today, guys, the position that we're going to be taking a look at is strong safety. Now, if you missed it earlier this afternoon, I did release another video on free safeties. Go back and check that one out if you're interested in comparing and uh, kind of contrasting the differences between strong safeties and free safeties. I decided to split them up because they were kind of longer than I wanted them to be. So uh, hopefully you guys understand with that. I didn't want to have a 30-minute video for you guys to sit and bore yourselves through if you only need a strong safety or if you only need a free safety split them up it's a little bit easier that way and we can get the information to you guys just the same so let's take a look here at the very first comparison that we have and guys I just want to point out first that we're going to be doing three different groupings here the first one that you're seeing is coverage we also have a hit power grouping and then the last one is going to be a user controlled grouping and I'll explain each of those but the first one is your coverage safeties. So these are your strong safeties that are good in coverage. Now, the attributes that we're going to be looking forward to here are 12 of them. So there are speed, acceleration, strength, awareness, play recognition, catching, zone coverage, man coverage, tackling, hit power, block shedding, and pursuit. Now, again, all of these attributes mean different things to different people depending on how you play. If you play a 46, you might want to have a different thing than you do if you play mostly quarter for a defense. You know, kind of depends on what you're doing there. But the most important things, in my personal opinion, are the attributes that have to do with the thing that you want that safety to do. So in this case, we're looking for guys that are great in coverage. So to me, the most important attributes are going to be your speed, acceleration, zone coverage, man coverage. Now, now, the other things that you could look at are hit power and play recognition, and again, if you saw my previous video on free safeties, if you've looked around kind of at my other videos, I tend not to care as much about play recognition and awareness as some other people do, but it really depends on how you play with your safeties again. So it, again, it really just, it's hard to determine how much those attributes really matter because, you know, it, it really depends on what your opposition has lined up against you as well and, um, you know, how good the quarterback's play action rating is and all these different kinds of things go into factor in there. Um, but what you're typically going to find is that your awareness and your play recognition are usually going to be lower on your lower overall items. So in this case, again, Aaron Williams, 86 overall versus Antoine Bethea being 91 overall. Even without looking at any of the other attributes and, and just being completely blind to it, you can almost guarantee almost every single time that the lower overall items, and especially gold versus elite, the, one of the major differences is almost always going to be that awareness and play recognition boost. So, Unfortunately, there just aren't a lot of items out there that are for a low price that have great awareness and play recognition along with good attributes at other things as well. So to me, I typically kind of disregard those. Um, I, I shouldn't say I disregard them. I don't value them as highly as other people do. But anyway, so the basic thing that you're looking at here on the left-hand side of your screen, you've got Aaron Williams, like I mentioned, 86 overall, and uh, he's a gold road to the playoffs item. We're comparing him to Antoine Bethea, 91 overall road to the playoffs. So two very good items here, in my personal opinion. Uh, you can really make up your decision on which one you think is better, depending on what you like to do with your safeties. But for me, again, I'm looking at these guys as being your best coverage safeties. So... Antoine Bethea at 86 for a zone, pretty solid, not anything amazing, but Aaron Williams does have a two attribute advantage on him in that category at an 88. He's also 10 better in man coverage. So if you ever do run blitzes or anything like that, where you've got your safeties lined up on a wide receiver or lined up on a, a running back even, or lined up on a tight end as is most common, you're going to see that Aaron Williams typically does better in man coverage than almost every safety in the game. Now, obviously there are certain guys that are going to have better attributes, but for the most part, Aaron Williams is an excellent coverage safety. He also has that 92 speed and 93 acceleration. So he's a little bit faster than Antoine Bethea at a 91 and a 90. So he's even able to make up for it if, for example, if somebody does go a play action or something like that and he doesn't react as quickly with his low awareness and low play recognition, um, he is typically going to be able to recover a little bit better because of that speed and acceleration boost. So it's kind of a nice little boost there that you get from Aaron Williams. This is one of my favorite cheap safeties in the game. He only goes for 6,000 coins I've actually seen him as low as 4,500 coins on PlayStation 4, so you can go out there and find him for a very nice price, whereas you're going to be looking at Antoine Bethea at 85,000 coins. 
My personal opinion, I don't see how people can really put Antoine Bethea as being better um, as far as, you know, for the price. I don't think that he's worth that much more. He does have some nice attribute advantages uh, with his 90 hit power and his 74 block shedding versus Aaron Williams only checking in at an 80 and a 65. But to me, that's really not that big of a difference when you're talking about coverage. Um, It is nice that he's going to be able to pop the ball loose a little bit bit more often, I think, than Aaron Williams. But for the most part, these items are pretty darn similar to one another in most categories. So again, 6,000 coins versus 85,000 coins, that's a huge difference. And I'm probably going to go with Aaron Williams if I have to make a choice based on the price that I'm going to be spending. So uh, Aaron Williams for 6,000 coins, I get to I get to keep 79,000 coins if I go with him over Antoine Bethea. And I can use that to make some upgrades in some other areas on my team. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Now let's go on and talk a little bit about the hit power safeties. And these guys are ones that have higher hit power, but maybe aren't quite as good in coverage. Now they're not going to be terrible in coverage still, but they're not, they're not quite as high. Now the first thing that you're going to notice here out of these items, Dante Whitner is not higher than Rashad Jones in anything. That's pretty rare. Um, I was not able to find many strong safeties with high hit power that were cheap. So this is a pretty uh, interesting comparison because typically I like to have at least some of the attributes be higher for the card on the left than they are for the card on the right. But the main difference here, obviously, you've got eight times as expensive in terms of the price between Rashad Jones, the team captain elite, versus Dante Whitner, most feared 86 overall gold. And, you know, with that eight times price difference, you are going to see Rashad Jones is a better item. He just is. Um, There's really no debating it. He is better. But what we're really looking for is trying to find items that are as good as we can get them for a low price. And I think Dante Whitner kind of fits that bill. He has 89 speed, which is the same as Rashad Jones. His acceleration is a little low at an 84, but he's still quick given the fact that he does have that 89 speed. Rashad Jones, obviously, with the 90 speed. Um, But one thing that I thought was kind of interesting is that in most attributes, despite the fact that Dante Whitner is lower in most of these attributes, the only one where he's really like substantially lower is catching. He's eight lower as far as a 67, or excuse me, he's 12 lower, I'm sorry, from a 67 on Rashad Jones and catching to a 55 for Dante Whitner and catching 55 is really low in catching. So he's not going to be able to get very many interceptions, but he does do a really good job of knocking the ball loose with that 90 hit power. And that 72 block shed and the uh, the 84 tackling, all those kind of things come into factor when you're stopping the run as well. So to me, I really like Dante Whitner given the price of him being only 5,000 coins. He's also solid with an 82 zone, which is actually the same as Rashad Jones. I kind of thought that that was a little bit surprising. I would have expected Rashad Jones to be a little bit higher, especially in the zone attribute. But, you know, the 82 zone, it's not good. It's not terrible. I'd say it's about average for a safety. But again, we're looking at guys that are good for hit power. So if your opposing team likes to throw a lot of slants over the middle, or if, you know, if they do a lot of plays like I do, slants over the middle, or they like to run the ball a lot, Rashad Jones and Dante Whitner are going to be able to lay the lumber and force some fumbles for you. And that's something, of course, that we really like to see out of our safeties. So again, I'm not going to try and tell you guys that Dante Whitner is better than Rashad Jones. He's not. But for the price, if you can't afford a Rashad Jones, you know, this is actually not that bad of a downgrade. Um, He can do pretty much all the things that Rashad Jones can do other than he's not going to get as many interceptions. So hopefully this helps you guys out with the hit power safeties. And let's move on now and talk about the safeties that are a little bit better for user controlling. Now, when I look at user control safeties, it really kind of depends on... um, you know, you have to be user controlling these safeties for these attributes to to really come into play. But what I typically say is that you have to consider if you're user controlling them, you don't utilize a lot of these attributes. So you're going to see they went from either green or red to gray. Awareness, play recognition, zone coverage, man coverage, and pursuit. All of those things are you when you're user controlling. So if, I, if I'm if i sitting there and I, I have my player clicked in, if I'm controlling Troy Polamalu or Calvin Pryor, I'm doing all of these things. I'm the one pursuing. I'm the one in man coverage. I'm the one in zone coverage, play recognition, and awareness. All of those things are on me. Now, if I make a mistake, it's going to be on me and not the attribute that you see there. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. But again, 
what we're really looking for here is trying to find the best possible items for us to user control. And I, I am somebody that user controls my strong safety quite a bit. It's usually either I control a middle linebacker or a strong safety when I'm playing Madden. And if you're like me, you're going to want to look at this Kelvin Pryor item on the left-hand side of your screen. He's only going for 3,500 coins. He's 85 overall. He was a Turkey Day card, and we're comparing him to most feared elite Troy Polamalu. So Troy Polamalu, 40,000 coins, 90 overall, a pretty good card. But if you're user controlling him, quite frankly, I would rather have Kelvin Pryor. I know it sounds crazy, but the only attribute that Troy Polamalu is better in that we care about is catching. He's got 74 catching versus Calvin Pryor being only a 65, which, you know, again, isn't a great attribute, but it's not that low considering all of the other catching attributes for other safeties. It's about mid-level. Um, Troy Polamalu's 74 is pretty high for a, a safety, but he Troy Polamalu falls behind in all these other categories. Other than acceleration, he's 92 acceleration, same as Calvin Pryor, but he is two speed slower. He's one strength lower. He's seven lower in tackling. And the big one to me, these two items are the biggest. 85 for hit power for Troy Polamalu, 95 for Calvin Pryor, 74 block shed for Calvin Pryor versus only a 67 for Troy Polamalu. So Calvin Pryor with that speed, the tackling, and the hit power is going to be amazing when you're covering the run with him. He is going to do some serious damage. He is going to be able to knock the ball loose on receivers. And if you're smart with how you play with your safeties, you're going to do an amazing job with this Calvin Pryor. I think he might be the best user control safety in the game for under 10,000 coins. I mean, he is seriously going to do some damage for you if you control your safeties. He, If you can control him, you make up for all these little low areas that he's not good in, the 68 man coverage, the 78 zone coverage, the 78 pursuit, 78 awareness, 76 play rec. We don't care about any of those things because we're the one controlling him. So to me, I love Calvin Pryor. I think if you're looking for a, a user-controlled safety, you cannot do any better than this given the price. So hopefully that helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, of course, be sure to leave those in the comments section below. I would be glad to answer them for you. If you have any other suggestions on safeties that you guys want to recommend for other people, of course, leave them in the comments section below. Tell me why you like them better. Don't just say, he plays better for me. Tell me, what is it? At which attribute is it that is so important that makes him so good? Because that's really what I try to do here with my budget series is give you guys the cold hard facts and the numbers that come into how you play this game. So hopefully again that helps you guys out. If you enjoyed the video please be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel also be sure to press subscribe so that you know when I put out another video. If you guys are interested in seeing any of the other videos that I've done on other positions I will leave a link to that in the description below. There's a playlist and then also I will pop up an annotation here for you guys to be able to view the other positions as well. So thank you guys again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.